So we spent two days at Imber Gordon. Gordon at the Sailing Club. Sailing Club. It's just as you're coming in. What a lovely little place it's been. That's We've been seen lovely. dolphins. Yeah, yeah birds playing last night. Birds. Birds. Yeah. And then oh. we woke up this morning and there's a big huge cruise ship here. <laughs> there is a cruise ship here. That was a big surprise. We didn't expect to see that this morning. But it's been lovely. It has. We've met a few nice local people, haven't they? Come and knocked on the van and told us. We was like, you do know there's dolphins out in the bay? And we were like, no, there isn't. But we didn't know they were there. But we're going to have a look. So I tried to get some recording of that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it properly or not. But yeah, so that was nice. We went to Little and Stuff when we got here and I had the worst accident ever. Oh, yeah. Stupid little trolleys. Stupid little thing at the bottom of the trolley so you can put heavy stuff on. But the, what they don't realise is it juts out too far. So you, I did it last time in Little. I was kicking my shins on it. And you got stuck didn't you, in the car park and the, the, just walked straight into the trolley and bashed all your legs in. I have. So I've got a really, really sore leg. So I don't fancy to do much walking. I haven't been sleeping very well either, which hasn't been fun. No, it's going to be going to be a little bit of a travel day today. But yes, thank you very much in the garden. It has been a pleasure. It has, yeah. Nice, quiet, apart from the road and the occasional train, but the road's not that busy. It's been busy this morning because there's been buses flying past, taking travellers to... Inverness, off, off the, we think. Yes. Apparently it's a port for Loch Ness, Inverness, and all the attractions around here, so... But it's a big cruiser. It is, it's really, really big. <laughs> so this is our pack up. Look how pretty this is. Let's see if I... If it goes all the way down, we are quite high up. It goes down there and then that's the way into the town. And then you've got a little single road here and then we're there. And some people that we actually met at, where was that again? The last park up. They've just pulled up. So yeah, it's quite a nice big car park. It's got some bins and a couple of seats and it's just a little honesty box. But how pu beautiful is this is for a view? This is where we parked. I've got to show you just because I had to nip to the shop for some stuff for tea. But there's this cute little walkway called the Jubilee Walkway. But look how pretty it is when you get down here. So it's right on the river, on the front of the river, just along from the car park where we parked. Anybody who knows me or watches any of our previous videos will know why I got super excited when you get just up here. So there's a little sign here. And it says fairies live here. Welcome. And then all the little trees. There, look. I don't know whether it's the schools that have done them, but they all have little tiny fairy houses. Like on every single tree. Look how cute is this? Look at all of them. They all have little tiny fairy houses and there's a little seat there. And then there's some fairy houses at the back. And like I said, I don't know if it's the schools that have come out and done them or... But look how cute they are. I think this is some kids have just taken the time out to come and... ...just decorate this little tiny walkway. It's so cute. And to say, it's literally like just down from the car park. There's nothing else here. And then you've got like ones over that side. And just everywhere you look, there's just little hidden fairy doors and stuff dangling from trees. So yeah, me being me, of course, has just loved every minute of it. I was so impressed. Andrew's just watching the football. And then we are moving off because we found another park up. But the, the next park up before we do John O'Groat. So we hope that if we get there this evening, then we can get to John O'Groat tomorrow. And then find a park up from there. So yeah, it's been all right. And the sun's been out, which is just a bonus. I need a haircut desperately, but I can't find a hairdresser anywhere. 
Hey, Look at her enjoying the little sun patch there. How has she managed to climb on just them two? So I'm going to guess that. Enjoying that, Luna. The nice up there, baby girl. Right, can somebody please explain to me what the difference in these are? It's a very randomest thing ever, right? Nappy in whatever aisle. How come they sell nappy bags at 60p for 300, right? What's the difference between them and dog poo bags? Oh, we need some. I'm going to buy nappy bags. I'm going to try this to see what the difference is. What is the difference between a nappy bag and a poo bag, apart from the fact they charge five times the price? 60 nappy bags for £1.75. So you only get 60. £1.75, or you get 100, sorry, poo bags in that one for £1.10. Or the order neutralizers, you get 75 bags for £2. Can somebody please tell me what the difference is between them and them? Because surely they do the same thing. Can you tell me what the difference is? No, we'll try them. We are going to try them. We're just outside of this gorgeous little village and you've got the river just down here and got the bell tower and then we're just parked just down there. So this is still the main road going up to Janag Road. Yeah, so it's just a little pull in off, this, off the main road. So you still have a lot of traffic going past that's doing the NC500. And it is just a donation. Got a little donation box, so we left a donation. And there's the river there. And you can see that from inside the van, which is gorgeous. But there's a few little bits here, there's some shops, and unfortunately the barbers is closed, otherwise I'd have had a haircut. So we found a lovely park up last night. So we are at, it's called Reese Sands and it's just outside of Wick. It's right next to Wick Golf Club. It is a single track road, but it's pretty straight that you can see if anything's coming towards you. But there is four, one, two, three, yep, five, sorry. There is five motorboat bays. It was rather quiet. There was no boat race or anything like that to it. I think like that to worry about. Um, you can only stop here for the one night. So we're heading off this morning and it is. So yes, motor warmers, maximum stay 24 hours, no return within 72. All activities must be contained within the vehicle and it's £10 or free for your blue badge holder. So there is a machine and there is a huge bin. So that, well, that little path takes you down to the beach. And then you have a bit up here, like a viewing point. And you have the lighthouse on one side. So it's just over there. And then there is like a nice castle as well. And as you can see, it's just literal beach all the way along. So, <laughs> so now we're going to go do all the shopping. 